Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today is day seven of our holiday series. Today's story is Fletcher and the Snowflake Christmas by Julia Rawlinson. It was an ice bright Christmas Eve and the sky was a dazzling blue. Every tree in the forest was frost sprinkled and sparkling and frozen puddles creaked and crackled under Fletcher's paws. He padded down the burrow bank to where the rabbits used to live and bounced over the fallen tree that blocked their old front door. And he stopped and he looked and he had a terrible thought. How was Santa Claus going to find the rabbit's new home? Fletcher shivered as a chill wind sliced through the forest, rattling the bare branches. He thought about how sad he would feel if he had to move from his cozy den. He thought about how the rabbits would feel if Santa Claus did not come. And then he thought about arrows. Fletcher began to search around collecting sticks from the frosty ground and arranging them to make a trail of arrows leading to the new burrow. What are you doing? asked Squirrel, looking down from the branches. Making a trail to show Santa Claus the way to the rabbit's new burrow, said Fletcher. Otherwise, they might not get their presents, gasped Squirrel, and he scampered down to help Fletcher collect more sticks. Soon, a flock of birds gathered in the treetops, their, their feathers fluffed against the cold to see what was going on. We're making a trail to the rabbit's new burrow, said Fletcher. For Santa Claus, added Squirrel. We'll help you, chirped the birds. The trail passed between bare trees and crossed the tinkling ice edge stream. The sun began to set, turning the sky a dazzling gold. Fletcher and Squirrel shivered and hurried up the little hill to where the mice were draping their nests with leaves of holly and ivy. What are you doing? asked the mice. We're making a trail, said Fletcher. To the rabbit's new burrow, said Squirrel. For Santa Claus, added the birds. You'd better hurry, said the mice. It's getting late. We'll help you. So Fletcher, Squirrel, the birds, and the mice finished the trail to the rabbit's new home, which was cozy and warm and sweet with the smell of blackberry pie. They gathered around the crackling fire, thawing out their icy noses, nibbling pieces of pie, and singing Christmas songs. And while Squirrel put on a juggling show with holly berries and mistletoe, outside in the shivery darkness, it began to snow. Fat white flakes tumbled softly from the heavy sky. They landed light and whispered quiet on the frozen ground. When Fletcher went to the burrow door to go home for the night, the snow was soft and deep and white and all the arrows were gone. Oh no, cried Fletcher, blinking back tears. What will happen to your presence now? Santa Claus will never be able to find your home. Fletcher stared out into the darkness, imagining Santa Claus lost in the snow. I have an idea, Fletcher said, gathering his friends. If we stay awake tonight when Santa Claus visits our homes, we can tell him how to find the rabbit's new home. The animals said goodnight to one another and hurried off through the snow-muffled forest. Fletcher snuggled down in his warm, soft bed to keep watch for Santa Claus. But, curled in the cozy hollow of an oak tree, Squirrel began to snore. High in the snowy branches of a fir tree, the birds began to doze. In their toasty warm nest, the mice dreamed of berries wrapped with ribbons. And in his snug little bed, Fletcher's eyes closed. So when Santa Claus came to call, everyone was fast asleep. But the next morning, when Fletcher rushed to the rabbit's burrow, Santa Claus had found it after all. I'm sorry I went to sleep, puffed Fletcher, but I've brought you a Christmas rose. And we've brought nuts 
panted Squirrel, carrying the mice through the snow. And we've brought berries, sang the birds. And best of all, you've brought yourselves, and there's room in the burrow for everyone, said the rabbits. Merry Christmas, cried the rabbits, and they welcomed their friends into the very bright warmth of their home.